Hello everyone, this is Hassan Shah, a final year medical student at Nashara Medical College and today we'll tell you about how to study pathology. Pathology is a very main subject in the course of medicine. It is really important because it forms the basis of medicine. So if you have a good and sound knowledge of pathology, you will, you will, you will be good in medicine and you will be able to excel in medicine forward. I just got my result of 4th year MBBS and I have got a gold medal in pathology and ENT. So this video will be based upon my own experience, my shortcomings and the reviews of my friends about how to study pathology. So the first thing you need to do is to take this pathoma to a binder. And this is the first step of starting pathology. Take this pathoma to a binder, give it a crystal binding uh, with uh, and Attach a page with every single page. Attach a page with every single page. So this page, this white page, attach a white page with every single, after every single page of pathoma. So when you are done with this binding thing, what you need to do next? Whenever you are studying a chapter in pathology, start the chapter with these past papers. And these past papers are really important because they are really high yield and they will always show up into your exam and these will give you extra marks. So how will you study those past papers? Read these past papers from one, from the first question to the last question, from the first MCQ to the last MCQ. And when you are done with these past papers, give it a, sh a quick read. When you are, whenever you are done with these past paper MCQs, past paper short questions, start watching videos of Pathoma. So, uh, Hussain Abdul Sattar, the professor, has done really good work and his videos are really, really self-explanatory. And whenever you have, when, when you watch those videos, uh, read the text along with those videos. So, when you are, whenever you are watching the videos, read the text along with those videos and there is a, a, a space given on the side. So, try to fill the explanation, try the, the explanation that the professor is giving, try to fill these uh, areas with those explanations. So whenever, so when you end with this, when, when you watch the professor videos, you have, now you have two ways. If you want to pass exam, Pathoma again and again, and there, and there were certain MCQs, and what was there in your MCQs, the important stuff in your MCQs, and you think that uh, your Pathoma is not having that stuff. So any MCQ that you think that the Pathoma is not having that stuff, kindly uh, at, at, in those pages which I told you to attach at, 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 with every other page, kindly fill those pages with, that MC, with those MCQs. So if you want to study, uh, if you just want to pass the exam with good grades, study past papers and Pathoma, that's enough for you. But if you want to get distinction, if you want to top the exam, if you want to get a gold medal in pathology, and if you want to have a good, a concrete idea of pathology, so there is the next step for you, uh, that study Robbins. So, three steps. First thing was to study the past paper MCQs. And then the next step was to watch Pathoma videos. Now the third thing is to study Robbins. And this is what I did and this that really helped me and at the end of uh, my fourth year I was able to get a gold medal in pathology and it was due to this. We have watched those videos of Pathoma. What you do next? You study the same chapter in Robbins. So when you are studying Robbins, you will come across things that will not be present in Pathoma. So there will be a lot of stuff but uh, most of it would be irrelevant for the exam. Like say, let's say the pathogenesis. Robbins have given a lot of pathogenesis and, and these are really big bulk of pathogenesis present in the, this Robbins. So, and that's not really that important. What's important? It's classification, it's morphology, like stuff. It's lab diagnosis. These uh, stuff, uh, this is really important for pathology. So when you think uh, that uh, when you are studying a topic in Robbins after after watching the video of Hussain Abdul Sattar, try uh, now now you have come across a thing that was not present in Pathoma. Just copy that stuff from Robbins and note it down on those pages you have attached. Do uh, you have attached uh, during the binding? So note it down. It's, uh, with every single topic, try to try to fill this Pathoma with uh, extra stuff from Robbins. Try to fill this pathoma with extra stuff from Robbins and the really high yield stuff. 
So whenever you are uh, at the end of uh, your session and whenever you are having your exam, you are having your professional exam and you are just having two to three days you are, or four to five days to revise uh, for that exam, this pathoma will really help you because it will have it will have the stuff, it will have the MCQs that were present in your past papers. It will have the high yield stuff that was, uh, that was made by Hussain Abdul Sattar. And then it will also have the stuff that was present in Robbins. And this will give you a really good idea of pathology. So uh, for exam, you will study only and only pathoma, but not pathoma only. It will be filled with a lot of stuff from Robbins. It will be filled with a lot of stuff from, uh, um, from your past paper MCQs. And this will really help, help you. This will be short, this will be easy to and this will be really high yield and you will get really good grades and pathology. Thank you and if you like the video subscribe my channel.